Hello everyone. The introduction of harmful materials into the environment is something called as pollution. So today we shall learn something more related to this in our lesson pollution of air and water. The presence of unusually high concentrations of harmful or poisonous substances in the environment is called pollution. Pollution contaminates the air and water with poisonous substances and makes them impure to such an extent that they become harmful to the human beings, other animals, plants and as well as to the non-living things. Pollution are of three types. Solid waste pollution, water pollution and air pollution. Pollution. What does it look like? Now first we shall discuss about air. Air is a mixture of gases. The two main gases present in air are nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen makes up to 78% of the air whereas oxygen makes 21% of the air and the remaining 0.1% is occupied by carbon dioxide, water vapor, argon and other gases. In addition to the normal constituents, polluted air may also contain some harmful gases such as carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, dust, smoke, etc. Air Pollution The air over large cities is contaminated with harmful gases like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxides, smoke, dust, etc. The contamination of air with harmful gases, smoke, dust, etc. is called as air pollution. The substance whose present in the air makes it impure or contaminated is called an air pollutant. The major pollutants which cause air pollution are sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxides, excess of carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons and suspended particles. Causes of air pollution Here we have a table showing how it is caused and why it is caused. Look at the table. How a cloud of smoke from the exhaust of vehicle, smoke from a factory chimney, eruption of a volcano, cigarette smoke, burning leaves. Why it is caused? Due to the increasing traffic, growing cities, rapid economic development, industrialization and a pathetic people. Here is a picture showing sources of air pollution. Harmful effects of air pollution. Those are health problems, damage to the environment, damage to property, thinning of the protective ozone layer of the atmosphere which is leading to climatic change. Acid rain The poisonous gas like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide that is released by the industries by burning fossil fuels by the vehicles etc. go to the atmosphere and pollute it. The sulfur dioxide reacts with water vapor to form sulfuric acid and the nitrogen oxide reacts with water vapor to form nitric acid. These acids get dissolved with the rain water and fall to earth in the form of acid rain. Here are the pictures showing effects of acid rain. Here is a picture showing cultural effects of acid rain. Many famous buildings are being damaged because of acid rain like the Taj Mahal, Parthenon, Statue of Liberty and the loss of artistic detail in Acropolis. The case of Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal at Agra is a beautiful historical monument made up of pure white marble. 
The experts have warned that the air pollution around Taj Mahal area is discoloring its white marble and also corroding it slowly. This poses a threat to the beauty of Taj Mahal. The acids present in the rain reacts with the white marble and corrode it slowly. This is a picture in which the Taj Mahal is in good state unaffected by the acid rain. This picture shows the Taj Mahal is affected by the acid rain. Greenhouse effect Carbon dioxide gas present in the atmosphere allows the heat rays of the sun to pass through it and reach the earth but prevents the heat rays reflected from the earth's surface and its objects from passing out of the atmosphere into space. In this way, the heat rays remain trapped in the earth's atmosphere and warm it up. The warming up of the earth's atmosphere due to the trapping of the heat rays by carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere is called greenhouse effect. Controlling Air Pollution The air pollution can be controlled by using smokeless fuels like LPG and PNG that is piped natural gas. Solar water heater should be installed to obtain hot water. The air pollution from motor vehicles can be reduced by using CNG that is compressed natural gas. The air pollution from factories, industries, thermal power stations, oil refineries etc. can be controlled by washing their smoke and waste gases with jets of water. The air pollution can be controlled by using non-polluting sources of energy like solar energy, wind energy and hydro energy for generating electricity. Our role in controlling air pollution We should not burn dry leaves, papers and garbage in the open. We should save electricity. We should grow more trees. We should utilize the plastic waste materials in making useful materials. We should use bicycle for covering short distances. We should use 4 R's. Those are reuse, reduce, recycle and recover. Water pollution. The contamination of water bodies like rivers, lakes, ponds, etc. with the unwanted and harmful substances is called water pollution. Water is said to be polluted when it becomes unfit for drinking or bathing. The major pollutants which cause water pollution are sewage, fertilizers, pesticides and industrial waste. Causes of water pollution How it is caused Toxic substances dissolve in water or gets deposited on the bed. Toxic substances enter lakes, rivers, streams, etc. Pollutants go down into the ground. Sources City sewage, industrial waste, agricultural runoff. So this was all about our lesson pollution of air and water. Studying about this is important as our health and welfare is directly related to the status of the environment. It is important for us to know about the pollution and its effects on the world around us. So when we know about it, we can of course improve it. Thank you students.